Um, so what makes up our TDE? So we've got your BMR, basal metabolic rate, which is usually the highest contributor. Usually, we'll cover that in a second. Your NEAT, your EAT, I will cover that in a second. And your TEF. So thermic effects of food, we've already spoke about. Your EAT is your exercise activity. So how many calories you burn from conscious, conscious activity, not subconscious, conscious activity. And your NEAT, what you're doing, which is your non-exercise activity, what you're doing subconsciously to burn calories, which tends to be our second biggest contributor. And this is a huge thing that people need to consider if they're trying to lose weight, is actually their NEAT-based calories, how many calories they're burning just from doing day-to-day -day activity. So when we spoke about the postman, who job is to do 25,000 steps per day, like he's gonna burn loads more calories, so his neat's gonna be through the fucking roof. So you can get away with pushing calories way higher. So some people might be on 4,000 calories. And so, hey, mate, mate, he's the same weight as me though, and I'm, you know, I'm on 1,800 and he's on 3,800. What's going on? Yeah, but your admin base, like your day-to-day -day activity is way lower. And that's that plays a huge role in, in the deficit. And the issue is when we diet for a long period of time, and I talk about this a lot in terms of metabolic consequences, because your body's smart. If you start to drop your calories super, super low, your NEAT will take a huge hit. Mm. And literally, you will see it in people's demeanor, their actions. That literally, it'll be sat here, like, it's like, fuck, I'm fucking naked. <laughs> like, that's what happens when you start dropping calories down. Your body will adjust. So by having an extra, let me just give you an example. So say, say if you're on 1,400 calories, by having an extra 400 calories, you're probably going to be in almost a similar deficit. Mm. And I know people are going, well, hang on a minute, because you're going to do more. Your neat, the amount of neat calories that you're going to actually burn is going to be greater. And you're probably nearly going to make up that 400 calories just by day-to-day -day activities because you're not fucking in a, you know, in a, in the hurt locker every single day from eating 12, 1400, 1500 calories, you know? Yeah. It's a really good point that you've made there because a lot of people, when they, they go in into a big deficit, they hear about this starvation mode and that your, your metabolism just slows right down. And often yeah. it is just that, isn't it? Exactly as you yeah. said, it's, it's the You meat. just do way less. Yeah. So yeah. it's, it's, it's your movement yeah. that reduces. And what tends to happen if you start under consuming calories on a, on a severe level, on a starvation level yeah. like that, because at the end of the day, dieting is just, you know, controlled starvation. Yeah. And the more you can control it, the better. However, if you start going really strict and aggressive with it, you're going to lose lean tissue, which is going to have a effect on your basal metabolic rate because you're going to lose lean tissue. So when you, when you stop doing the diet, when you stop doing the diet, yeah, and you've lost two stone, three stone, whatever, right? Metabolically, you will be in a worse position because you've lost lean tissue, which means your BMR is going to be lower. So the next time you binge, you're actually going to put on more weight than the last time you binged. And most people go, oh, it's because I'm getting older. It's because of this, because of... No, no, it's because you're dieting like a fucking arsehole. You've lost a bit of lean tissue there as well, which has compromised your your BMR. And now your body can't process as many calories as what it used to before. So can you just quickly explain what BMR is and that it's not the same thing as a BMI? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all right, because I get that all the fucking yeah, time. Yeah, no, that. They're going, no, I'm a BMI. But no, yeah. yeah. Basal metabolic so, rate is very different. Yeah. To, so your basal metabolic rate, rate is is like what we burn on a day-to-day -day basis, coma state calories without any activity. So you could lay in bed. Yeah. So and you can you can estimate this is what I do with all my so I go through all the questionnaires. I do that. I don't have any team members do that. I, I've got 10 coaches. I go through all of my questionnaires myself and I give all the calories out and I go through all their, because I'm literally like fucking anal with BMR, with TDA, everything like that. So I'll go through all that and go, right, this person needs this calories. And don't get me wrong. Sometimes I, I would say most of the 95% of the time I'm bang on it. But sometimes you may, but it's you, the only time I would get it incorrect is when they've given me incorrect data. Mm -hmm. So they go, oh yeah, I'm, I only do 3,000 steps a day, but then the start of the course, they're really motivated and they're doing fucking 15,000 steps a day. And I'll be like, well, hang on a minute. Like there's no, no there's no, no, no wonder you're losing six pound a week mm, yeah. because you're also under your calories and also you're motivated fuck, you're training every day and also you're hitting, hitting way more steps. But what I'm trying to say with your BMR is we can estimate this to a very close amount by your body weight, mm. by your body weight. Mm. So but a lot of people go, oh, you know, yeah, but people are different. Yes, they are. If you're holding more lean tissue, then your BMR's... So, uh, for example, someone who's 90 kilos who's holding quite a lot of lean tissue and someone who's 90 kilos who's higher percentage of body fat, their BMRs are going to be different because obviously this person's got more lean tissue. It's going to be more with the person who's got more lean tissue, obviously. However, um, 
for your general average person who's say between 10 and 30 percent body fat like it ain't going to change it ain't going to change that much it's yeah. not it's, it's never like, maybe, might be 10 like... maximum and if, that's if you've got someone who's heavily muscled maybe 20 percent more so say if someone's bmr is 2000 calories that person might be 2400 calories their bmr what they're going to burn at rest what they're going to burn just doing fuck all now this can get as we start to diet aggressively Obviously, you can lose lean, lose lean tissue, which affects your BMR. And then the next time they binge, like I said, then they put all the weight back on quicker than what they did before. And this is where you get the yo-yo dieting. And every time they do the yo-yo dieting, every time they go into the deficit next time, they probably go lower and harsher because they find it harder to lose the weight because BMR, they're in a worse position with their BMR. This is why weight training is super important or not just weight training, stimulation of muscles. So people train at home going, well, I don't want to weight train. But if you're doing squats and lunges, that's still stimulating the muscles. Yeah. That's still activating the muscles. That's still going to protect them if you're eating a reasonable amount of protein. That's still going to protect you know, th- those systems mm-hmm. and, and your BMR when you're going into those. You know. So for your, for your BMR, is there like a quick way to calculate your BMR? Paul showed me a little way years ago, years ago, and I've always used it just as a quick calculator. I know they have calculators online. Well, that's it. I think there's tons online, but the, the the one that Danny's referring to is literally, I find this is so close. If you use like obviously Harris Benedictins, um, Cunning, Cunningham, this one is so close to both of those. It's literally, if you're male, take your body weight in kilos and times it by 24. If you're female, times it by 22. And that gives you a, a, a yeah. fairly close BMR. Yeah. It's I've I've checked it against both yeah. of those and it is yeah. it's, it's 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 really really good. So I got that I got that from Martin McDonald if you if you know yeah, him. Yeah. 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 Mac Nutrition, yeah. 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 Yeah, I would say that's bang on pretty much. Mm-hmm.